Hello students, welcome to Read Aloud with Miss G. Today we are going to be reading The Hopeful Man and the Sea. A man set out, hopeful, with his hat and his coat. Over the wild, open sea, he rode it in his boat. He hoped to find fish. He had kids he must feed. The trip might be risky, but he was badly in need. Out in the cold sea air, he briskly went gliding, mindful to study where the fishes might be hiding. He said, this does seem like a best spot for my bait. Many fishes were swimming. He spied at least eight. He pulled up his first catch. Will it fill up one dish? In the darkness down deep, he spotted an even bigger fish. I love catching big fish, he thinks, grinning with glee. So he placed the little fish back, setting it free, the hopeful man and the sea. The bigger fish neared. It was taking a look. The man clapped when he spotted its mouth close on the hook. Got it, the joyful man shouted with a smile. I'm sure this will feed us for quite a long while. He spotted the biggest fish. He gasped and stopped. The fish in his hand? That lucky fish dropped. The man baited his hook and rolled down the line. He waited while thinking. This fish will be mine. His wait was quite brief. Then he had the fish hooked. Such joy, the man said. In no time at all, the fish will be cooked. But that fish flipped and flopped and got free. It went racing, gritting his teeth. The man quickly went chasing. The fish had great speed. It was gone in a beat. There it goes, the man cried. Now what will we eat? The rest of the fish wisely dove way down deep. I was most careless, said the man, as he started to weep. The sad man then said, I had hoped to feel gladness. But I use bad judgment and now I can only feel sadness. I can either moan over my lost dreams and wishes or go back to my house and fill up the empty dishes. If I can't catch a free meal, I must pay instead. Then with his only three coins, he paid for a loaf of bread. The Hopeful Man and the Sea